Social media is usually a wash with hashtags of trending topics and challenges that come far in between. Now, in recent times, we've had the Mannequin Challenge of 2016 and the Ice Bucket Challenge of 2014. Right now, we have Drake's In My Feelings Challenge as the trendy challenge of probably the year. What are your thoughts on this challenge? And hope you tried it out. I'm Shalua Williams. I'm Princess Amen. And I'm Bella Rizukuji. Welcome to Tech City Discourse. In the last couple of weeks, we've seen this Drake's In My Feelings Challenge take over the internet. It's probably the internet sensation of probably the century and everything. So what are your thoughts on it? Well, I'd say it's amazing because mm -hmm. a lot of people have actually participated in having their videos being out there mm -hmm. in, in the hashtag In My Feelings. Now, there are some specific people you wouldn't even expect mm -hmm. would do this, but then you find out that they put a lot of their originality and mm -hmm. flavor into this, like in Franklin and his wife. Mm -hmm. It was really nice seeing them putting the whole churchy flavor mm -hmm. into it. So, and then Will Smith's climbing up the bridge to actually throw in his own video. Mm -hmm. And so many other people, dancers all over the world, mm -hmm. doing your own, uh, doing your own, throwing your own hashtags and mm -hmm. then doing my, the In My Feelings Challenge. And I'd say um, it's playful. Mm -hmm. I actually feel like doing mine, but I'm not yeah. too much of a dancer, so. <laughs> Probably get <laughs> <Yeah>. One day. <laughs> yeah, so Bella, what are your thoughts on it? You know, from what Princess said with mm -hmm. Will Smith's challenge mm -hmm. and everything, location seems to be a key factor. So we've seen people actually pulling out of their cars, cars yeah. you, know, you know, exiting their cars mm -hmm, to do it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the creativity comes from the location. We saw yeah. Ciara on her honeymoon oh, so with, her, so with her husband Jesus. Russell, you know, in Cape Town. We've seen, uh, <laughs> we've seen DJ Khalid, you know, and his family vacay and everything. Yeah. So. I think location, you know, spices stay, up things. Stay away challenge. from DJ Khaled's video, though. Yeah. Yeah, just need to warn your head. <laughs> it's not exactly pretty. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, 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 yeah. So I think that in, in some weird way, you know, the My Friends Challenge kind of just pushes the envelope when it comes to, like, internet trends. Mm -hmm. You know, when it was with the Ice Bucket Challenge, all you needed to do was just tell someone to pour a bucket of cold water on their skin. And that mm -hmm. was, in fact, for... Um, an awareness mm -hmm. about a medical yes, condition, yes. right? And then the mannequin challenge also, weirdly, was just some people having fun with a song, and then that just kind of caught on. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think with this one, um, in some way, it is giving more credence to how involved young people are, mm -hmm. and maybe, in fact, how pop culture is now, like, a thing for every person. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to be young to infuse your creativity into mm -hmm. something. Everyone is now a part of it. It's no longer just Drake's thing anymore. Mm -hmm. It was his song that people, mm -hmm. you know, kind of liked. And that one line, Kiki, do you love mm -hmm. me? Uh, but now everyone is putting in some element of creativity. Everyone is, you know, trying to be more original about it. Mm -hmm. um, and it might sound like I'm being too deep, but I mm -hmm. think that we shouldn't call everything a something challenge. You know, like I get it when everyone is trying to be trendy. trendy. And trying, but I think yeah. that challenges back in the day were things that you used to create awareness about something. Mm -hmm. You know, so now everything is just a challenge. Mm -hmm. Now this is just a dance challenge. And um, somehow if something may be a bit more serious, we're in the air right now, mm -hmm. we might miss out of that because everyone is just all about this dance. I'm not mm -hmm. saying the dance in itself is a bad thing, mm -hmm. that the song is not a jam. Mm -hmm. I mean, Drake is not the best rapper alive, but I think he's really good. Mm -hmm. um, and you can start trends and all of that. But I think that some way, pop culture has a weird way of just taking our eyes away from things that are important and then just takes us on this wild goose chase. So now mm -hmm. it's still about the dance. Mm -hmm. And other important things are just not, you know, being paid out them. So. So yeah, but yeah, it's a, it's a good dance. I want to do it too, but I don't know. I, I don't think I know how to dance all these steps. Just, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, but speaking <laughs> of challenges, we can't afford. Um, we can't afford not to give credit to the person who started this in the first place. So this is now called the In My Feelings Challenge. Yeah, we actually started from Shigi, the Instagram yes. and um, it was initially called Do the Shigi. So yes. it was hashtag the Shigi and all of that. So um, I. This is just sort of a reflection of influence, you know, yeah. how much influence mm -hmm. um, some Instagram comedians would, you know. True, true. And from a little, you know, dance he did, you know, we had people doing it and yeah, doing it. Yeah, doing theirs. So I'm forced to think, what's the connection between, you know, Drake and, you know, Shiggy? I think this is also a function of appropriation, you know. So he just did his, mm -hmm. right? And then some of them people decided to do the exact same dance, use, the same, use that music same and everything. Music. So all of a sudden, the focus has shifted from him mm -hmm. to Drake mm -hmm. because people perhaps would uh, rather, I don't know, maybe align more with him <laughs> or just use his music because it's more popular. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and I don't know, this, if we continue with this conversation, it takes us down the road of intellectual property, which I don't <laughs> think we're ready for. I don't even think but I think anybody culture, remembers. Somehow, some very weird way, it just kind of blurs the lines. You know, mm -hmm. everything is shared now. Mm -hmm. One, one person starts something, by the time it catches on, you really don't know who it, it belongs to, sure, yeah. you know. But, um, yeah, I love how it's helping everybody become more creative mm -hmm. and all of that. Um, these are the advantages. I don't want us to focus on the negatives because mm -hmm. there's enough negativity in the world as it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but I, I don't think anybody mm -hmm. even remembers that it's, it's time from this comedian because it, 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 it's hashtag. gone a long people way. Still, people still use the yeah. Actually. Do the Shigi and you know, the mm -hmm. Shigi challenge. People still use it, but the My Finish challenge has, has gone farther. Blown yeah. the entire thing up. So, yeah. yeah. But we will do ours. Yeah. Do we mm -hmm. agree to do ours? Yeah. Uh, hopefully. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about the longevity of challenges, um, according to you know a magazine, Pop Sugar yeah. Celebrity, um, is reporting that seventy nine thousand posts of hashtag in my feelings have already you know gone up since yes, seventy nine thousand. Wow, of them. That's so a um, we've seen that that is uh, you know there's sort of room you know for more people to do stuff. But I have to bring you back to Nigeria. I've seen that you know Nigerians have been a bit more conservative about their in my feelings challenge, if I could use that word. Okay. We've seen people you know pulling out of cars, you know, over there, but we've seen a lot of Nigerians doing it in, in their, their room. room. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Is it a factor of you not wanting to you know come out of? Uh, car, oh yeah, scared it too. Last night, let's think about the roads in Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> then you can leave your car, you can't leave. and then your mechanic does done something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, <laughs> me too. <laughs> okay, you sorry. You <laughs> <laughs> That's where you parked it. You I was just like, it's challenge. You pay for like a hundred. I wonder, you know, why we're so, we're usually very, uh, we usually like to break, you know, the boundary. Boundary. Yeah. You know, in, you know, um, Close spaces and everything. Well, we still have Nigerians who are actually giving it a try. The, you, there's this video. See, there are too many, there are too many <laughs> on. The GG. The GG. Nigerians too much. The GG. <laughs> the GG dancers. The GG dancers had jam. They had jam on the car. It was on a road trip, no? You will see that I just don't like this. <laughs> I think it was so hilarious. No when it. I watched it, I'm like, yeah, what's going yeah, on? <laughs> well, it was. Well, let's just say. I think that I think if we cannot even be creative with like the locations, I think mm -hmm. we have been creative with the dance steps. We yeah, have been shaku yeah. shaku to be yeah, our own like, challenge. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Let's just make do what we have. Let's not <laughs> force them to go to. Korea even the Gigi dancers had Igbo yeah. dance just yeah, so. Because again, don't forget there are some places in Lagos that you have to pay. <laughs> I think I'm just. <laughs> Bella, so that, like that's the Nigerian factor. <laughs> yep. so, so we're keeping it safe. Yeah. Nowhere is safe. free. <laughs> Just oh safe. Nigerians tend to be we, we tend to be more um conservative in I think stuff like this. It's just safest to do it like in your house, mm -hmm. you know. Control the noise, you can control the human traffic, mm -hmm. you know, and all of these things. So yeah, not everybody has a canon camera. Mm -hmm. You know, use a smartphone. Just to I know everybody has a really long touch. road that could let you just drive in your driveway. Yeah, too many cars on the road. Too many cars on the road. But then we've had, a, speaking of creativity, something comes to mind. You know, we've had, um, you know, the Koyi, you know, Link yeah, 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 yeah. you know, feature in most of our movies and everything. So it would really be nice to see someone do, you know, people jog there. And do like it, like, it will be too, they don't do my finish challenge. challenge. <laughs> <laughs> they don't, they don't. <laughs> No. They only jog there. It's for jogging. No, but everyone's doing the challenge, so. Well, like if we don't want to do the challenge. You don't do this in the house. I think they'd rather show off their nice TVs than. Yeah. Show off the street. Because, I mean, the Lucky Bridge is just for exercise now. For, yeah. <clears throat> Let us know what you think about In My Feelings Challenge and add yours to the already existing 79,000 post hashtag In My Feelings Challenge. And tag us when you do that. Yes, please. That was such a good laugh, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of hashtags, Google is in Nigeria to teach entrepreneurs how to use their tools. Now, this is the third consecutive year that Google is coming to Nigeria to teach entrepreneurs how to use the tools, including Google Map, YouTube, Google Translate, and all their, you know, their tools. Um, this, you know, forces, this um, raises a question in my head about, you know, how user-friendly Google tools and um, products are, you know, actually are. I know they're coming to train entrepreneurs so they can use it in their business and everything, but I think they're pretty, you know, user-friendly. User-friendly and, and easy to use. Yeah. I don't think anybody has 
anybody, if, if there's any Google product anybody has heard about, mm -hmm. and such an individual is not able to understand mm -hmm. or use mm -hmm. or apply that product mm -hmm. properly, mm -hmm. starting with the Google Maps. <coughs> The first day I use Google Maps, I just open my phone and then I'm like, okay, I just need to put this and mm -hmm. put this and then, like, everything is quite explainable. Mm -hmm. Like, they make it really easy for you to be able to apply whatever it is you want to use it for. Mm -hmm. And then YouTube, YouTube is like, this who, is YouTube. Yeah, who doesn't use YouTube? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you're, you're looking, you want to learn how to cook, you want to learn a particular language, you want to learn how to pronounce a word, you mm -hmm. want to you want to do whatever you want yeah, to do. <laughs> you you just need to type in what it is and then it comes out. It's amazing how easy it is that mm -hmm. they make their products. So I, I, I guess there are other things mm -hmm. that come with it that we probably don't know mm -hmm. about. So then deciding to train entrepreneurs on all these little things won't hurt too. Yeah. So it's okay to I think see that, them in um, Nigeria. Beyond just teaching my entrepreneurs, I think Google is trying to make their products second nature for people, mm -hmm. you know? So for someone like you, for instance, if you're going somewhere, you don't have to be told yeah. before you use Google Maps mm -hmm. because it's like, that's natural now for you. Yeah, you're know, able to calculate how long you you take on the road before you get there. So you can mm -hmm. tell you know, Traffic, you're going to see 15 minutes or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I think they want to make that as easy as just picking up your phone, mm -hmm. right, for entrepreneurs. So mm -hmm. why do people still miss out on deadlines, for instance? Mm -hmm. Why do people still forget things when they say, oh, we have supposed to have a meeting? It's like, oh, mm -hmm. I forgot. Well, with your Google Calendar, whatever, mm -hmm. you're able to input all of that and you wouldn't forget. So I think mm -hmm. for, for, for some people, it is that's life for them. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to make that the case for many more people, especially business owners and entrepreneurs. So mm -hmm. with stuff like YouTube, for instance, there are some people who uh, might need to learn a few more things, mm -hmm. who may be paying for some training somewhere. Mm -hmm. So someone who wants to learn how to bake, for instance. Now, there are lots of things on YouTube that will teach you how, how to, to bake. bake. I'm talking yeah. the recipes, measurements, to the tiniest details. Mm -hmm. You know, for, so for someone like us, for people like us, we don't... I won't sign up to any cooking class. Mm -hmm. oh, that's, like, that's not even a possibility. Well, because we <laughs> know these things, yeah. right? And um, as much as there are many people online in Nigeria, mm -hmm. we don't. I'm not sure what the figures are right now about mm -hmm. the um, accessibility of Nigerians to their products. Okay. So maybe that's where they are coming from. Maybe they mm -hmm. have seen that um, while there is some activity, there can be more activity for mm -hmm. more people. Mm -hmm. Maybe the the numbers have been stagnant for a while. Mm -hmm. They want to improve that, you know. So perhaps that's why they are coming to Nigeria. And if I know they are using a lot of influencers to also talk about these things, mm -hmm. um, but how they are using good products. So mm -hmm. that will also help their followers and people who look up to them to learn a few more things. If I know that the person I look up to, maybe as an actor, for instance, mm -hmm. is watching audition tapes on YouTube or whatever, I yeah. can decide to do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. If I know that the person who I listen to on the radio is constantly using Google search, like you mentioned, yeah. you know, I don't want to appear stupid. I would do the same thing and I'll search <laughs> for information like on, on Google search, for instance, yeah. and Google Maps as well. Some people will still tell you, they'll still, I mean, the other day I was into this traffic radio station <laughs> and I'm just like, why? This thing is such a depressing radio station. I'm sorry, because you're listening and you know exactly where there's traffic. <laughs> I know there's traffic there. Why are you repeating this information to me? <laughs> I just want to know how long <laughs> it take me, you know? People who aren't, you know, so familiar with this too. So exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it does serve the purpose. And I mean, hilariously, you know, so. it, map also gives you time limits. It so does. And then there's that whole street view thing. Street, well, yeah, so you could see the red, the sign. Exactly. You're able to see where you're going as well. But I, I feel some people who actually use it don't understand the different, yeah. like the signs, the so colors, yeah. Yeah, all that. that. I think also Those their people. Android Go apps, which are like lighter versions of all their apps, from mm. YouTube to Google Maps, which I think can work offline mm. if you're using the Android Go. Yeah. For I mean, even Google as much Play. As we spend a lot of money on data in this country. Yeah we still have data issues. So mm -hmm. they have to sometimes do some of these applications. They have to do lighter versions yeah. so that mm -hmm. <laughs> they can buy you can manage it. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Network problem. <laughs>